This is the Reddington counting machine. It's a simple five digit counter. On the right hand side is this lever and if you pull the lever the counter is incremented. It was made by F.B. Reddington Company. That company was founded by a Frank Brown Reddington. In around 1895 he was working for the Zeno Manufacturing Company. This, made, this company made chewing gum and every chewing gum was wrapped individually by hand. And this was unworkable uh, as the demand for chewing gum grew and Reddington made a, a machine that could wrap this uh, automatically, a chewing gum wrapping machine. Zena Manufacturing supplied all the chewing gum for Wrigley's and yeah this bubble, this chewing gum wrapping machine essentially allowed the Wrigley's uh, chewing gum company to uh, to exist. It's uh, Wrigley's grew so much that uh, in about 1913 or so they actually bought the uh, Zeno Manufacturing Company. So anyway, Frank Brown Reddington he uh, made this wrapping machine, and two years later, in 1897, he founded uh, this company to make various uh, machines for wrapping goods not just chewing gum but many other types of um, uh, food and other items and uh, yeah in around 1906 Reddington designed this counter it was mainly intended for uh, things like uh, printing presses and uh, other industrial machinery, it, it could count how many items were being produced and there were various attachments so that you could uh, bolt it onto uh, any kind of machine and uh, attach it via a lever to uh, yeah, to count how, how many items were being produced how many papers were being printed and so on it's an extremely solidly made uh, machine. The uh, mechanism is very chunky. There's not a lot that can go wrong. It can actually uh, handle about um, seven or eight uh, clicks per second, 400 a minute. And uh, yeah, it's, it's extremely solid. In the, on the back of this, uh, this front cover, it says, to set back, if figure 9 shows on any wheel through the side opening, move wheel forward. Then, beginning with the left hand wheel, move each wheel forward in turn to figure 9 and pull the lever. So, uh, yeah, there's no 9 showing, so I can just move each wheel up to 9 and then pull the lever. So now it's all zeros. Note that uh, the reason you have to move the nines forward first is because if it, there's a nine showing, you can't uh, you can't move the wheel on the left hand side to it because uh, yeah, it's it's stuck because the uh, nine uh, wants to do a carry to this wheel. So it, once you move this forward, this one becomes free to move. The back cover is also uh, on, on that same spring, so you can see, see the mechanism here. It's uh, very chunky, a simple uh, gear wheels in between that handle the carry mechanism. Uh, each wheel has, uh, has nine teeth on the left hand side and one tooth on the right hand side. 
at least looking from the back. So each time that single wheel moves down, it, it turns this intermediate wheel that uh, pushes the next wheel forward. It's a very simple mechanism. On this side is the uh, actuator. If you pull the lever, yeah, th this little uh, pull pushes, uh, pushes forward on the, that tooth. Yeah, it's a very solid construction and uh, th these counters would last a very long time. They wouldn't wear out easily. Um, when I got mine, the only thing wrong with it was that uh, that spring was missing, so I had to replace that. I also had to do a lot of cleaning on the outside because there was a thick layer of gunk. It may have been paint at one point, but it could also just be grime and soot. So it uh, took a long time to clean uh, to a nice shiny black uh, finish. So that was the Reddington counting machine. Thank you for watching.